sometimes I, the, these, these kind of ideas cross my mind. I'm not saying I'm actually worried, but it does cross my yeah, mind. I got, I got to keep an eye out for it. I think about it too, all the time. But I'm, I'm accepting a little bit more and more now. I'm accepting it more. Look, that's why the idea is like, you gotta, we got to make our kids critical thinkers. Yeah. You know, you, you don't want to be the annoying person that questions everything either. And like, it's not fun to be around with, you know, and you're always that guy putting down comments and putting down arguments and all the time. But you want in the back of your kid's head to be a critical thinker. You know what? Don't yeah. just swallow everything you're told, you know, use your yeah. mind and you're going to be wrong and make the mistakes and just don't fuck up too much. Yeah. And that, there's no formula, man. There's no formula for this. And, and, you, and you hope that, that serves him in any context, right? I mean, they, they, there's a bunch of his friends doing stupidities. Like you just want that to kind of spark that reflex of him saying, well, okay, no, this is not right. You know, let yeah, me or, or if I'm going to do it, you know what? I did it Tuesday, Wednesday, you know what? Let me take Thursday off. Like, you know, I mean, I don't mind if he does the bad things. He has to go through that. But understand that it's it's part of growing up. It's not it's not a state to be in forever. You can't be trapped in there forever. Yeah, that's how I think. You know, go through it, but don't be don't be trapped in there forever. Like there, there's enjoy all the nice little phases. I mean, the only thing that I worry about a lot is you know, it's the cell phones, it's the the video, it's you know, bullying has taken a whole other sense now. You know. Uh, mm. I mean, we we've seen bullying at, at our schools. Maybe we were even cyber you, cyber bullying is a different beast. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what it's I mean? A, it's and a tricky one. They film you, and they, the, this is what worries me a lot. And uh, think about it: our first video calls or video conferences that we ever did in our lives were in our late twenties, early thirties. Yeah. And these kids are <laughs> doing video conferencing and they have no concept. They, have, they don't even realize that they're doing a video conference. They don't even... But the, the, the bullying is also, a, you see, that's, that's another subject that, you know, a lot of people are tackling the subject and it's, you can't just punish the person who does the bullying. I'm against bullying, even though I was kind of a bully and I feel bad that I was like that, but I had to go through that to understand it. So uh, people get bullied. People are going to bully. I think it's part of nature. You can't, you can't eradicate that from the world just because you start punishing the person who does the bullying. Mm -hmm. But I think as important as it is to punish the person that does the bullying, you have to also teach the person who gets bullied to grow a thicker skin. Yeah. To take the hits. You, you got to take the hits. You can't just go complain and start feeling shit about yourself. You, yeah. you got to grow through that. You, you know what? You're not gonna, your parents are not going to your, your parents, the school, <clears throat> society is not going to be there. To stop every bully that shows up in your life. Yeah, but it is it is to say, Chris. But when when you have a kid that is vulnerable because you know you're 10, 11, 12 years old, you you don't really understand why the other kids are doing that because you come from an environment where you're so well sheltered and everything. Uh, but that's that's it. That's the point. No, you I understand, but it's not their fault. I mean, uh, you know, you you can toughen up the kid, but when the entire school is up their ass. How, well, that, how that's strong, when you got to make a decision. That's when you got to make a decision. How strong of a character do you want this kid to have? You understand? Like to just say, yeah, they're forget. No, but George, think no. about it. What will, what will make more sense? If the, the whole school is bullying your kid, do you do you reprimand the whole school or you just decide, hey, maybe this school is not for my kid? Well, and guaranteed, I gotta, man. You know guaranteed. I mean? We're out. So there's other We're decisions. Out. There's other decisions to for be sure. made. For sure. You can't change the world. You can't. You got to change yourself first. And let's say you don't like something, you're trying to change it. If you can't change it, you change the way you think about it. And then you keep going on. You can't keep yeah. going on. To, I find uh, to what George is saying about uh, how they, it's like compounded, the whole school on the kid, it escalates faster. That, like From a little mm. incident, by the end of the day or the end of the week, the whole school is up, in, up against this kid. And then up until that point, everything was perfectly fine at the school. And especially now, I mean. <laughs> and imagine you change school and again. Within no time, it could escalate to that really quick because of a bad inc one one stupid incident. It's it's, yeah. a, it's a it's a new beast that we've never dealt with. Yeah, like, and you like, know what? We, we need to work on both both ends because the, usually the person doing the bullying has insecurities. He tries to look superior by yeah. by making the other person feel inferior. So you can work on both ends. All, all I'm saying is that you won't eradicate it by treating one part of the equation. It's two equations. It's something plus something equals something. You 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 treat both sides. 